of Our Hands, Chapter 1. What I Don't Deserve. This used to be home. This used to be a place where laughter echoed off the walls. But this is what it's been reduced to. Rubble. I hope you know that I'm not wasting any water and cleaning ash off your hands. I didn't expect you to. I didn't expect you to come back with me here either. Jordan, we've been friends for like, what, 15 years? Of course I'm coming back to your house with you. Or what was your house? The world has literally ended, society has collapsed, and we're still here in your living room. Oh my god, is that your mom? Dude, shut up. No, I'm pretty sure that's your mom. That's her rosary in the skeleton's hand, so unless someone came in here, ripped the rosary away from your mother, and then was in the house when it was burned down by hooligans, then that's your mom. I get it, Saul. It's my mom's skeleton. She's dead. Woo-hoo. I thought you weren't big on the whole Catholic thing. Why had taken her rosary? I don't know. I guess just a piece of mom that I can keep. Even just in my backpack, it's a piece of her. Yeah, literally, man. Just think of how long it's been here. It's been, what, a year since the bombs dropped? So she was probably killed shortly after that. Her body probably held onto that thing for at least 11 months. It doesn't matter. Not like I can catch anything from it. it it's still kind of gross. I know you miss her, man. I miss mine, too. We'll be fine. Let's get out of here. It's making me feel worse than I already did. Hey, do you remember that time when my dad caught us trying to change a tire on his truck and we broke the lug nuts? <laughs> <laughs> he was so mad at us. He tried to ground me, too. If only he could see us now. I still can't believe you managed to hotwire that car back in Okafor. He'd be proud of us. He'd be proud of you for surviving. Yeah, that's what it's all about now, isn't it? We aren't just trying to make our parents proud of us for making the Dean's List or winning a basketball game. We aren't who we used to be, the people we were before all this. Nothing but making it to see tomorrow matters anymore. It's nice to look back, though. I miss it. Hey, I wonder what happened to that girl you were seeing right before we left for that game. What was her name again? Sandy? Cindy? You know that her name was Holly. She was the one who approached you at the Zeta party the week before. Lucky for her, she was barking at the wrong tree. <laughs> yeah, man, you are definitely some kind of tree. And what is that supposed to mean? You know what it means. Go away, Saul. Nah, man, I'm not going anywhere. I'm your best friend, your brother. We're stuck in this hellscape together. You are like my brother. You've seen everything I have. Lost like I have. More than I have. Don't compare the things that we've been through. You know that she loved you too. It's just kind of funny how we could be dying of the same thing right now and never know it. It wasn't the cancer that killed her. It was the chemo. We might live longer than she did with the same thing. Do you think my father ever felt guilt for pushing her to keep going through the treatments instead of just coming home? I, I don't know, man. At least at the hospital, she didn't have to feel the pain and you got to be there with her. It may not have been in your house, but you were her home. I know. I just wish I could see her one more time. Maybe you will. We don't know what comes after this. You know, that is the second time today you've brought up your mom's beliefs. I didn't think you actually listened when your parents took you to Mass. Well, I could only drown out Father Leon so much. Do you really think we'll see them again? I don't know. I didn't care up until all of this happened. Now, I can't help but hope that there is something. I get it. We didn't get to say goodbye. I should have called Raleigh. I thought about it. She was so young. She was only a little younger than us. She'd be 20 in a month. She was always so good. I kind of felt bad for pulling her braids when we were kids. I remember that. Mom always told her not to worry with it. Said it was how you showed you liked her. <laughs> uh, Jordan, I... I really have to tell you something. 
I was... I was actually texting Raleigh when the bombs dropped. We had been talking for a few weeks. We were planning on going out during spring break. Jordan? Jordan, please say something. Jordan, please. Jordan, please don't leave. You're my brother. We are all that we have left, Jordan. Don't come after me. We're done. Jordan. 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 Jordan, stop. No. Jordan. Trust is something that is given. It's earned over years. It's something that can be lost in a second. The person you thought you knew better than anyone in the world can transform before your eyes and become someone unrecognizable. In the world we created, you don't want someone you can't trust walking behind you. One lie can unravel everything. One single second can ruin a friendship. The Sins of Our Hands audio drama was created and written by Jenna Taylor, starring Kevin Kowser, Colby Ryder, Kurt Tennant, Jenna Taylor, and Jackson Heath. Special thanks to Dr. Kevin Williams and the rest of the Shepherd University Communications Program. For more information, head to jennadrakecom.wordpress.com backslash capstone.